Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Out behind an occupied stolen vehicle. And we're going to wait a little bit here for another unit to catch up to us. We're crossing Waller. I'm going to light him up here. Lighting him up at 72nd Waller facing east yeah, we're in pursuit. And now I pursuit he's down 70 seconds from Waller, pretty fun. Yeah, he's driving pretty recklessly. These tight corners down here. And he lost it here. Stand by. We're gonna go back up the hill, northbound River Road. Might be Piop Tribal. And we wrecked. Okay. Right underneath the trestle. Here he is, get down on the ground. Keep your hands up. Get on your feet. Get on your feet. Why do you have to do that? Why do I have to do what? Why? Why? Okay. okay, well, what do you think? What do you think's going on? Are you okay? You injured? No. You're not injured I'm in any kind of way? Bit. My arm hurts. My head hurts. Yeah. Why is your head hurt? Because it hit the window. It hit the, the window? What? You hit the window? Do you need medical aid? No. You don't need anything? You want to stand up? Yeah. Yeah. What's the deal tonight? I was just driving along, and then I started going down 74th. And next thing I know, another cop comes flying up hauling ass towards me. I didn't know what's going on, so I took off. Is that what is that what a normal citizen does? Would you consider yourself a normal citizen? I try to be. What, what, what do red lights mean when they're behind you? What does that mean? There wasn't no lights behind me at the time. OK, but once the lights came on, what does that mean? In driver's ed, when lights and sirens are behind you, what do you do? You pull over. You pull over. So why didn't you pull over? How about, why don't you say, officer, because I was in a stolen car and I didn't, didn't want to go to jail. Car. So why did you run tonight? Because the way the cop came flying up the opposite direction at me, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Okay. I guess you've had bad run-ins with law enforcement before? Yeah. Are you a convicted felon? I think so, yeah. You think you are? What for? Yeah. For drugs. For drugs? Do you have drugs on you tonight? No. Okay, so you're going to risk your life you're going to risk that girl's life, all the policemen involved and the citizens of Pierce County, just because you were scared? Is that, I just want to get that straight. Who is this guy to you? Uh, he's a, a friend of mine. A friend of your boyfriend? No. No. Okay. So tell me, what happened, what happened when, we pulled, when we got behind you? Um, he said... <laughs> He said, I, hope, I don't know. What did he say? OK, so when the police car got behind you, and then once the lights came on, why, why didn't he pull over and stop? Why do you think he didn't? Um, he said, I hope I didn't report it stolen. OK, why would he report it stolen? I don't know. OK. And then after that, what happened? <coughs> Were you asking him why, why you're running? <coughs> And what did he say? He said he had warrants. You want to sit down? You want to sit I'd down like for a second? Away from the, the exhaust pipe, please. OK, sit down. Well, it's a confirmed uh, county stolen. And uh, sounds like uh, he's trying to say he didn't know it was stolen.
but uh, obviously by his actions tonight, he didn't want to go to jail for a stolen car. So you knew the car was stolen, right? No. You, you can honestly tell me no, that? Yeah, I had no idea it yeah, was no, stolen. Okay. He's got a key. Okay. So once you started, once he start, started running, he said just because he had a warrant? Yeah. That's why he was running? Yeah. Okay. So were you kind of scared when you spun around, did the 180 and headed the other way? No, I wasn't kind of scared. I was hella scared. I was very, was very scared. scared. Yeah. That's uh, pretty ridiculous, him risking your life like that just for what yeah. you think would be a warrant. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, you think? Sorry, I'm really, I'm really not a happy person right now because this is not be happening to me. No, I can I mean, understand. If I had done something, then I could see, you know, but I haven't done anything. Okay. I'm like, kick him in the head. Has anyone got her info? Oh, yeah. Could you get her info for me? Oh, okay. I know you got him last night. You got behind him last night. Was he well, the same guy driving? Mm -hmm. yeah. He was the same guy driving. I'm pretty sure she was in it too. Okay. There's a female. So did you guys turn on him and he hit it? Is that how you? Uh, no, was the computer was slow coming back. We just, uh, he waved at me. I saw his police car. He's like, hey. He waved at you? He waved at us, yeah. And we Jeez. ran it. We didn't see the we see it on the hot sheet. We ran it. It came back like a minute later. But we uh, find it. So you think he was toying with you? Like, hey, come chase yeah. me? Yeah, probably. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> the same guy, so I don't know same. if he wanted yeah. OK, cool. Good deal. You've known this guy how long? Just a couple days. A couple days. And you're out at 3 in the morning. Driving around with him in a stolen car, okay, it and is, then it is stolen. it's a stolen car, and then it turns into a high-speed pursuit, mm -hmm. an accident, which you're very lucky. Both yeah. airbags deployed. You're very lucky you're not injured. I know. Okay. okay, so hopefully maybe this is a wake-up call. Be very. How old are you? 23. 23. Okay, so you should be old enough to know better, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, this it's is. Gonna happen again. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put you in the car with another deputy, and they're gonna give you a ride somewhere we can call a friend or whatever and come pick you up. That sound like a fair deal? Okay, all right. I have a better one. Well, I was born in Oxnard, California. When I was, we uh, moved up here and I was, we lived up here in the state of Washington now for, since 1979. Went to high school in North Tacoma, graduated high school and, and for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a cop. I don't know if it was the thrill of the badge or the gun or the car or what it was, but uh, I've always just wanted to be a cop. We got an occupied stolen up here. I got two units behind me. We're gonna we're gonna attempt to stop and uh, see what he has to say. Eastbound 213th behind that vehicle. Uh, I got 352 and 452 with me. Go ahead and try to stop. And we're still going eastbound. We'll be pursuing. Still eastbound through the gravel road. Still eastbound coming up on Meridian, no traffic. It looks like we're going to be going southbound on Meridian. Looks like he hit the sticks. They were successfully uh, deployed our stop sticks. Still southbound, approaching uh, Meridian. Speeds are 70, no traffic. I'm going to go ahead and try to pit him right now. No, I guess not. Every time I try to pit, he obviously knows that we're trying to pit him because he tries to swerve in the oncoming lanes. Speeds are 40, 45 miles an hour, still south or northbound. Well, it looks like he's stopping. Get your hands up! Do it now! 
Step out of the vehicle! Turn and face away from me! Back up to the sound of my voice. You left. 398 County Felony Stop about the 40100 block of Meridian. Felony stop in progress, the 40100 block of Meridian, facing northbound. Side. Looks like we're occupied at least three times. You see three occupants? Yep, I got him. Go ahead. He's got a kid in the back. Yeah, little kid. Okay. You'll pull him up and get him back. Somebody's going to have to take the other passenger. Yeah, yes, there, there's... Both of them are kids, yeah. I begged him to stop. He would not pull over. Cancel the beeper, two in custody. What did he say to you when he was running? He was going to stop the car. He was gonna leave me and my kids in the car, and he was gonna run. Mm -hmm. And I said, you're gonna crash the car with me and my kids. Please don't hurt me and my kids. Then he says, you and your kids get out and run. And I said, please stop. My, please, my kids are in this car. And I said, if I move to get in the back seat with them, I've seen police on TV get on the side. They will hit your car. I've seen police on TV say what they've been doing to stop car thieves. I said, I don't know what you've done, but let me and my kids go. Why, why would you say car thieves? I seen it on TV. They said that they hit him on the sides of the car and in front of the car to stop him. And I told him if he's not stopping, they're going to think that everyone in the car did something wrong. I said they don't know my kids are in the car. Well, you're right. We didn't. I I, told, I knew. We, we didn't we didn't and see that your kids were in the car until until the, move to until the, back the vehicle seat stopped and we already had they, him out of the car. You guys would hit the car or shoot the car, and I didn't want to oh, get well, we, trying to protect my kids. Well, I understand you want to protect your kids, but he we're not going to we're not going to shoot it. We're not going to shoot at you unless you were shot at. He didn't talk. He didn't say anything. He just said. Oh, the car won't go faster, this and that. Did he, did he tell you that the car was stolen? No. He says, I don't know why they're coming, and then he didn't stop. Take her up to her kids. Okay, come on up And here. we'll unhandcuff her, and Bill's got some information that okay. he needs to share with you. Come on up here. Come on up here. We're going to walk you up to your kids. Okay, I feel like I'm going to fall. Okay, we'll, 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 this officer right okay, here will walk you up. We'll take you up there. We're going to unhandcuff you, let you sit with your kids. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Bill. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer and want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning, having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? No? Yeah. Yeah, you do. It's one or the other, buddy. Yeah, I do. Okay. What's going on, man? Why'd you run? I didn't want to go to jail. What were you going to go to jail for? I got warrants. You got warrants? That's the only reason why you ran? Huh? Where'd you get the truck from? I bought it from my buddy Josh. Do so you have any idea that the home. Huh? So we go How'd you start the together. car? Huh? How'd you start it? With the key that was in the ignition that he left in There's no key in the ignition. You and I both know that there's no key in the ignition. Um, Come on. Seriously, Be honest sir. with me. They're, they fell on the floor during the chase, so they're on the Well, floor. explain this to me. Okay, if they fell on the floor, okay. why is the car still running? Obviously, it's car was stolen. Huh? Obviously, it's stolen. Obviously, you knew it was stolen, didn't you? I mean, he said it was cool, man. He Be honest with cool. me. He said it was cool. But, I, uh, but, you, but you had a good idea that it was stolen. Huh? Yeah. I wanted to go see my parents. So I don't have to tell you how ridiculously stupid this, this little stupid. thing was. It was really stupid. Very stupid. She, you could have killed that girl's, your girlfriend's two kids, man. She, she wanted me to stop. Why didn't you? All this could have stopped a long time ago. This is one that worked out for us. If we wouldn't have got the sticks down, we'd end up pitting this guy. Uh, per our policy, luck, luck of the draw, that uh, we got the sticks on the guy before we pitted him, and with the kids in the car, it would have rolled, and we'd have had a big mess. So, absolutely lucky. But nice job. It sounded good. Thanks, sir. All right. See you out there. All okay, right. Bye. Our car's rolling. We're at uh, 208th and Mountain Highway right now, signaling to go north. The records confirm it. It is confirmed that he stolen. It was also taken at gunpoint. The uh, car in front of us was taken at gunpoint, and it was just sitting down at the junkyard down there. So we spent a couple minutes sitting in the dark waiting for it to leave, and lo and behold, our bad guys loaded up and 
We're going to pull into the AMPM at Avenue East and Mountain Highway. Pulling into the AMPM. 057. Let me see your hands! Driver, reach outside the car and open the door. Passenger, keep your hands where I can see them. Keep your hands up, face away from me. I want you to walk backward. Stop right there. Port Lewis, you got the cover? Yeah. Driver, keep coming backwards. Keep coming backwards. Don't look back towards me, just keep coming backwards. Stop right there, drop to your knees. Drop to your knees. Put your hands on top of your head right there. Do not move. Tell me when you're ready, Frank. Get up. Passenger, come out the open driver's door right there. Now listen to the other deputy. Face away from us. Put your hands in the air. I want you to walk backwards. Do it now. Stop right there. Just do not look at me. Drop to your knees. Keep your hands in the air. You got the cover for Lewis? Yep. You ready to do the car? Nobody else, Frank? She says no. Stand up. Well, we'll have to dig through here. The hot sheet says it was taken at gunpoint. And I don't know if these two are the ones who did that or not, but we'll have to dig through and make sure they don't have anything like that with them now. Stephanie, currently you're being detained because the vehicle that you're driving is listed as a stolen vehicle. Oh, wow. Okay? Do you understand that? And you're telling me that that you bought this vehicle from who? Dave. Dave who? New York. New York Dave? That's what they call him. I don't know his last name. You don't know his last name? Where might I find New York Dave? Um, I, his cell phone. Probably in Fife at um, Frank's. OK. When did you purchase the vehicle from him? Um, two days ago. I got it from him. I bought it for $200. OK, you bought the car for $200 from New York Day. Yeah. OK. Broke down. Was that two days ago or was that earlier today? Two days ago. I got it back today. OK, what do you mean it you was, got it back today? It was broke down with no gas and I had to go get it. But your bill of sale is where then? He probably, I probably left it there at the house. I you left know. it at New York Dave's house? I live with him. Oh. Are you? Oh, OK. So, so you. Somewhat. What does that mean? I dated. Oh, okay. All right. That one little bag of what looks like it's going to have methamphetamine residue in it up under the front console. And then they had a whole kit in the back seat that's got a pipe and some dope and a straw and stuff like that in it. So we'll get that tested. Although since I'm, they were coming from what our lab team took down as a meth lab last week. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was Matt. And the baggie of dope under the front console was Matt. So we'll go do the other one now. And here they got their whole kit. They got their little pipe in there. And here they have their fancy little bag. It's going to have more Anybody methamphetamine. The and there's a glass pipe they're going to use when they want to smoke it. Where do you know Stephanie from? I met her in jail. In jail? Yeah, and she came to pick me up, and when she got ready to start the car, I was like, is it stolen? She said, no, I just bought it from New York Dave, and I was like, well, you need to get an ignition for it. And she said, well, I am, you know, and she told me that she bought it today, and she came to even show it to me. And then she asked me to ride with her to get some air in her tire. And I said, okay, you sure it's not stolen? She said, no. I said, if it's stolen, I'm not getting in it. She goes, I swear to God, honey, I just bought it. I said, okay. I got in. Okay. Okay, well, a bit of bad news. The car is stolen. Okay. So I guess your instincts were right. She told you that the car was clean. Yes. Okay. So the reason why I got in it. All right. I'm going to ask my mom to pick me up from my mother's house. Well, you hang tight. I'll be back in a few minutes to let you know what we're going to do with you. Okay?
Did they say what they're doing back at the junkyard or not? She says she was delivering some chicken and some other stuff to a sick friend there at the that lives there. So, does she know that there was a lab there or not? Didn't even get to that. The the other gal states that she had a feeling this car was stolen since it had no ignition, and she inquired about it, and, and that uh, Stephanie here told her that that no, that she had actually bought the car from New York Day. Yes. Well, Tacoma didn't want the car held for anything, so we're going to let the tow guy just take it. Okay, I'll, I'll go and I'll book her then for, okay. for the car and uh, for the dope in the car. Okay, and uh, tack driving on there too. Okay. And reminder that when she's sleeping with guys she's only known for a month and they sell her cars for 200 bucks, it's going to be a pretty bad deal. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Se pama granda, 
سوچ غلط گمان کبیر اندد شیرا پاخلے میں طلبہ ماشاءاللہ بھی سمر کا پیرے سرگم دیدر کر دینا رکی باستا لزے دا بایار کلا گرزا رکی باستا لزے دا بایار کلا گرزا ناصر سامینا بند سر قربان اوما داخل کو خلے گنڈا لے ناشم پادران و درونیم سپک سپک ساب بینا ستاکہ دا خوستان قلق سپاک دا سی زمان دا شیر ایسی پاک کبیرا یو زلی ٹنگا غی گرا کا چھے پاک ونے گیلے میں ٹولے ورا کی شیرا زامد از رارمان راشا باغیر لطانا ناصر کا کی خواگی مصری دی جو نید ما سمیے پا خواگا آواز کوما ویخ پلا مالا کی کرا پروا مکا کلی کے خانی کرا پروا مکا پلا مالا کی کرا Ah. Uh -huh.